Hello guys, hope you're doing well as always and welcome back to another episode in the Road to Wembley series and today we're seeing a game that I've already seen this season in the Championship, it's Watford at home to Southampton. Last time I went to go and see these two teams play was in December, a 1-1 draw and Reese Healy scoring a 97th minute equaliser, it was fantastic. Are we going to see as much drama today? It's the FA Cup so of course we are. Southampton as we know are a team that I've seen quite a lot this season and they are fantastic. Fantastic. Still keeping up their brilliant form. They've only lost four games in the 28 matches that they've played in the championship. And they absolutely walked all over Warsaw in the last round that we saw them play. However, Watford are a team that are capable of turning up. They're so unpredictable, which has made their season probably frustrating for you Hornets fans. Dropping points against Stoke and then destroying teams like Rotherham 5-0. It's inconsistency like that, which is why they're 10th place in the championship. As we well know, this is the FA Cup. So anything Thing can happen and Watford are more than capable of pulling off a home victory in today's game. Let's just get straight to Vicarage Road ladies and gents and I will see you guys up there. So ladies and gents we are in Watford, bit of sat nav trouble to be expected but we are here and compared to last time we've got a little bit more time but we're cutting it fine. How are you feeling for the game today? FA Cup action once again. Looking forward to it, it should be a a good game, looking forward to a good game. Going to be close, I think, but yeah, looking forward to it. We'll go straight in, as we love to do in this series, with your facts for Watford this time. Oh, God, God I've done them all on Southampton again. No, I haven't. So I suppose you'd think I might go for the obvious ones about past legends, like the player who had the most appearances and most goals. That was... Troy Deeney. Nope. Luther uh, Blissett. Or you might think I might go for a more recent uh, legend he had uh, seven seasons i think uh, as top scorer and that player is joy dini how'd you get that yes oh. so he holds the records i believe for the most seasons as top scorer but no i'm not going to go for either of those so you might even think then i might go for another obvious one being their legendary manager who was it's going to annoy me when you say it but tell me oh do i not like that his name is graham taylor uh, of course. He's got a stand named after of course, him. And I think there's a statue there, isn't there? Yes, there is. We'll see shortly. So you might think I'll go for Graham Taylor as the most legendary manager. And actually, you'd be right, because I'm going to go for Graham Taylor. He's one of the few managers that actually took them from the bottom division, the old Division 4, to uh, the Division 1. Not only did that, the next season, he took them to, to um, second runners-up in Division 1. And then the season after that, he took them to the FA Cup final. Not only did that, he then left them and then eventually became England manager. Less said about that, the better. But after that, he came back to Watford and took them from Championship to the Premiership again. That's my facts of the day. Wonderful stuff. And do you know what? Go for a little fact as well whilst we're here. Uh, more of a well-known one, if I'm being completely honest. Famous former chairman, Elton John. So uh, the Rocket Man himself has got a stand named after him. It's where we sat last time. This time we're not. I think we're in the Graham Taylor stand. Can't remember. It's the opposite one to where we were last time, ladies and gents. But it should be a good game. Uh, what's your score prediction? Score prediction is it's going to be tight. It's FA Cup. I've got a horrible feeling it's going to be 1-1 draw. It's really hard to call. I'm going to go for a Southampton win, I think. And it pains me to say because I love Watford. And I said last time, Vicarage Road is one of my favourite stadiums. But I think the Southampton are going to win this one. I think they're going to do it. 3-1. See what happens, ladies and gents. Fingers crossed for some action, though. The teams are out, ladies and gentlemen. The stadium is packed for today's fixture. Who we follow next. It's decided in the next 90 minutes what will get us underway. Going for free kick and a good position now for Watford. And it is also going to be the first kick of the game for Mason Holgate. It's a short wall. Oh, wall, and it's in! An early lead for Watford. Only one man in the wall, and he's celebrating for the fans. Those South Asian fans aren't happy. What on earth were they doing setting up only one man in the wall? He took full advantage, and Watford strike an early lead. Questionable defensive setup from Southampton, but you can't take any quality away from the strike. It's brilliant. They've struck early in this game now. It's theirs to lose. That's good. Good save for the keeper. Oh. Oh, that's another 
free kick now for Watford. It's been an open game so far, but Watford have been way more clinical going forward. They've earned themselves another free kick now. Southampton with more men in the wall this time. Will this be enough to stop Watford doubling their lead? Comfortable save for the keeper. Time, ladies and gentlemen, Watford 1 0. So it is half time and Watford take the lead. What are your thoughts and feelings on the first half? Quite entertaining. Yep, very good. Really enjoyed it. Um, there's a 10 minute lull in the uh, middle, wasn't there? It was a little bit, um, uh, not a lot going on, but I think Watford definitely deserved the lead. Good free kick, got the goalkeeper out. Southampton, very disappointing actually. I think they've had a lot going forward. Trey Adams is not really had much to feed on and wasteful crosses, passes, just nothing. I don't, I'm not sure they had a shot on target. I think that there might have been one, but it wasn't particularly exciting or no, it didn't cause the keeper much trouble. Watford definitely deserved the lead. Um, it'll be interesting second half, because obviously Southampton have to come out a little bit, maybe make some changes, I don't know, but yeah, Watford, very good. Watford were winning everything, all those loose balls, all the 50-50s, it was all theirs. They made the game theirs. And like you just said, Southampton was so wasteful. It seemed that they could knock the ball around comfortably with their centre backs and when it was in their own half as soon as they got the ball forward honestly I lost count of the amount of times that they pinged the ball out for a goal kick or out for a throw and it was really poor by their standards so they're going to want to improve but we'll see what happens in the second half I think it's going to be exciting Can Southampton find a leveller? Yeah. No they can't Alcaraz fires over oh. Great touch. No, no, no. Oh, oh, almost a moment of brilliance from Josh Massa, but the keeper handled it well. Oh, I saw that deflection, they're taking it in, but. Keeper was able to save it in Southampton. Hitting them on the counter now. Oh, a great challenge in Southampton. Cooking up four substitutions early into the second half. They realise what to say. Trey Adams is one of those players coming off. With Ryan Fraser, last game's man of the match, taking his spot. Stuart Armstrong, Ryan Fraser, Adam Armstrong, Southampton are going all out. Will it be enough? We'll have to wait and see. As we've been watching, the FA Cup draw has been done and we know where we're going. Well, it's looking like Anfield so far, so stoked. I know, how exciting is that? It's going to be a big tie, potentially a finalist already. Hell 
another save from Buchanan. Southampton have turned up in this second half. Brilliant. Fantastic defending. And here come Watford on the counter now. Great challenge. Southampton have been so much better in the second half, but stroke of fortune, you can't help but feel with that goal. It's good finish from Armstrong and fair play, you've got to be there to take it, but after all of Watford's hard work today, you can't help but feel like it was a little bit hard done by. There's six minutes now, I've added time for either side to find a winner, or it's going to be another replay in this series, ladies and gents. Ladies and gents, full time, 1-1, one, one. Southampton stealing the best, Watford defended fantastically in the first and second half, ever since they took the lead, they hung on really, really well, but it was Stuart Armstrong who dealt that arrow blow in the last few minutes, Southampton was certainly better in the second half, but Watford kept their pressure up throughout the 90s, credit Southampton for that improvement in the second half, and for finding an equaliser, when all hope was seemingly gone for Watford are going to feel really hard done by by that result because they play brilliantly too. Special shout out as well to those Southampton fans because they were absolutely incredible today, making so much noise throughout the whole game, creating a brilliant atmosphere for the game. So well done you guys. So ladies and gents, that's full time. We've got our second replay of the FA Cup so far. Are you disappointed or? I'm out actually. No, oh, I'm right. quite looking forward to it because it, it was a cracking game in the end. Um, second half as we thought they would do and had to do uh, Southampton came out to play I thought they were the better side in the second half deserved their equaliser yeah they were, they were really good a thoroughly enjoyable match really really enjoyed it and I'm going to um, echo what you said beforehand Watford Stadium is, is such a lovely stadium it's, it's brilliant really really nice and it's a nice place to watch football so uh, yeah big up Watford but uh, looking forward to the replay definitely it's going to be really really good it was nice open both sides had good chances and that's ultimately the end of the day what we want to see and both sides scored and to be fair I think you're right I think that both sides did deserve their goal in the end I just think if I was a Watford fan which obviously we were sat with them today I would feel so hard done by by conceding at the death like that when they've defended so well they've played so well for the 90 but do you know what that's football at the end of the day and it's a great strike and a great chance taken well by Armstrong so credit to him credit to Southampton for working their way back into the game and unlucky Watford see if they can do it again at Southampton being at St Mary's I think it might be in Southampton's favour would you agree? Uh, yeah and uh, there is a bit of an omen here every if, uh, side we've followed this season we've won we played in red so does that mean Southampton are going to go uh, and win and then we go to Anfield looks like we're going to Anfield at the moment they're also I don't know if you know playing red <laughs> Could we get all, to the fi- all the way to the final following the Reds? It is really interesting. And also, as I said earlier, I think Liverpool is so easily a team that could be in the final so we could be following Liverpool for the remainder of it but you never know again it's the FA Cup anything can happen but thank you very much for watching as always I'll see you guys in the next one thanks for joining me see you in the next round well the next round replay take care as always peace and love